Welcome back to Short Times. Today I am going to walk you through the movie Father Stew from 2022. It's a biographical film, starring Mark Wahlberg as Stuart Long, written and directed by Rosalind Ross in her directorial debut. The film starts with Stuart Long, a foul-mouthed amateur boxer from Helena, Montana, who has had a troubled relationship with his parents who are hostile towards religion, since his brother's death. Years later, Stu's mother, Kathleen, persuades him to stop becoming a boxer, and start working just like everybody else, because she is worried about her son's safety. After thinking about his mother's advice, he went to his brother Stephen's cemetery, and decided to stop boxing. Later, he chooses to try his luck in Hollywood in the hopes of becoming a famous actor. The next morning, he moves to Southern California and gets a job in a grocery store. He believes that people in the film industry shop there, and that it will be simpler to interact with them. However, his plan appears to fail, because all of the customers he meets, have no links in the entertainment sector. He then meets a woman while working in the store, and she catches his attention. However, when he asks for her name, she refuses. As a result, Stu grows interested in her. So he chases her and discovers that she teaches Sunday school at a neighboring Catholic church. Even though he has a dislike for religion, he goes to church one Sunday to meet her. After the prayer, Stu joins the group for lunch and becomes friends with Ham and Jacob. Meanwhile, Ham informs him suddenly that the woman's name is Carmen. Later, he tried to approach her, but Carmen rejected him, and said she wouldn't even consider dating him, until he was baptized. Unexpectedly, Stu agrees, and begins the rite of Christian initiation for adults at the church. He then starts to spend his time with Carmen. He also carries out penance under the priest's supervision. After that, Stu is eventually baptized at the church. Carmen also begins to like him as she observes how diligently he goes through the process. Following that, Stu and Carmen started dating, and he later had dinner with her parents at Carmen's house. After that, Stu moves into an apartment and makes an effort to cut back on his alcoholism. A few days later, Stu lands an acting role in an advertisement. However, he faces disappointment, and chooses to visit the bar again that evening, where a mysterious man advises him not to drive home. Stu ignores the advice and drives drunk on a motorcycle, crashing into a car, being thrown off the motorcycle, and being run over by another car. Severely injured, he drifts in and out of consciousness, and has a vision of the Virgin Mary, who tells him that he cannot die in vain. After some time, the ambulance arrives, and Stu is taken to the hospital. The doctor says that he is unconscious and informs his mother that he will pass away. Carmen also pays him a visit to see how he's doing and brings him a Bible. She keeps telling his mother that Stu will survive. A few days later, Stu begins to move his hands and eyes and the doctor declares that he is beginning to wake up from a coma. He then meets his estranged father, Bill, who pays him a visit and re-establishes their relationship. Following an amazing recovery, Stu goes back to the bar to ask where the strange man who gave him advice is. The bartender says they don't know either. Carmen pays Stu a visit when he is recuperating at home, and the two have sex, which she had earlier stated she would not do before marriage causing both of them to be deeply regretful. After that, he goes to church, confesses his guilt, and begins to turn himself into the man Mary has called him to be. Stu feels a stronger call to the priesthood than to marriage, and after much prayer, he decides to attend seminary. One early morning, he invites Carmen to accompany him to a restaurant, where she believes he will propose to her. When he informs her about his plan, she becomes disappointed and tries to persuade him not to go ahead with it. But Stu submits an application to the seminary and is initially turned down. After appealing, he gets approved. Ham and Jacob are now enrolled in the seminary as well. Ham is a trustworthy buddy. Jacob resembles a rival in certain ways. Stu falls down one day while playing basketball and is unable to stand up by himself. He is diagnosed with inclusion body myositis a rare muscular disease similar to Lou Gehrig's disease, and the prognosis is grim. Stu is angry with God, 
but he eventually realizes that his pain is a gift that brings him nearer to Christ's suffering, and he continues in the seminary with difficulty. Carmen, who is currently engaged to another guy, supports Stu's career by visiting him. He gradually loses use of his hands after a few days. Stu is informed by the priest that he is not eligible for the priesthood, due to his incapacity to perform the rites. Stu returns to Montana with his parents, who look after him as his muscles weaken, his weight increases, and he loses his capacity to live independently. Meanwhile, his father joins an addiction recovery program, where he recognizes that his carelessness and absence contributed to his son's illness. Members of Stu and Carmen's California Church ask the Diocese of Helena to ordain Stu. The bishop agrees, and Stu is ordained in front of Carmen, Ham, and his parents. In Montana, Stu begins ministry and immediately forms relationships with individuals. Later, he is confined to a skilled care facility, where he continues his ministry, and where people gather to see him on a daily basis. During confession, Jacob pays him a visit, and explains that he never felt capable of becoming a priest, and simply pursued it to please his father. Stu assures Jacob that there are other ways to serve God, and that he should not feel pressured to do something he isn't called to do. Jacob thanks Stu and wishes him goodbye, sensing it will be the last time. Later, Stu dies at the age of 50. The closing credits show photos of the real-life Stu as a child, young adult, seminarian, and priest.